Ah, oh, dinky do! It's just me, my hearties, Scotty McClure with the big one. And of course, tonight, Thursday evening pop up just for you. Excellent stuff, dinky do. Come and join us. Now, then, we've got a lot to discuss tonight, and of course, so little time to do it in because we only have the one hour. One hour tiny hour to discuss so much. Welcome, 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 I say. If you've just joined us, it's me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, and of course, the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. Let's get chit-chatting. Main subject for discussion tonight. Should the government think about incentivizing not having children to save the planet? Excellent. So there you are. Uh, everybody joining us, welcome, welcome. There's Mark Hesford from Manchester, from the Northwest. Lovely to have you with us, Mark. And Dinky Doo, of course, from me, Scotty McClue. There we are. Bit of extra light for you, just to say hi. Sandra Kinloch watching Dinky Doo. Everybody just gathering. Spread the word. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten that McClue is on live. Hi, Free Fife. Good evening, Scotty, says Michael Paul McVee. Good evening, Michael Paul McVee. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. And a warm welcome to the Scotty McClue show. <coughs> Hi, Scotty. Say hello to my daughter, Amber, who had the cold, says Gordon Ritchie. Hello, Amber. You get well soon. Good evening, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Good evening. Evening, Scotty, says William Hanna. Welcome, William. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Lots and lots to talk about tonight, and so little time to do it in, so spread the word. Last night, immensely successful show. Very glad you could join us. Tonight, our main subject for discussion. I saw a very brave lady today on the internet saying that she wasn't going to have children to save the planet. And I think, should we all start thinking about this? Ali Yogi, hey Scotty, uh, UWS in Lanarkshire, so there we are, lovely to hear from you. Diesel Dixon from Tayport in Fife there, excellent, lovely to have you with us. Scotty even, says Ali Yogi, yes, yes Ali, welcome, 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 it is indeed me. Eddie Doby Senior is watching, hi Scotty, how are you, I hope you will pass your sadness with Burt Reynolds passing earlier tonight. Burt Reynolds, yes, wonderful actor. So there you are. R.I.P. Burt Reynolds, says Gordon Ritchie. Absolutely, Gordon. <clears throat> and also, let's have a think about all the wonderful work that he did, all the entertainment and all the comedy over the years. Hi, Scotty. You tell my little Lucy to get to sleep. Her mummy's tired, says Carol Ann Thompson. Zach Erskine Petrie. Ur Scotty. Ur Scotty is here saying dinky do to every single one of you. Welcome, 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 I say. There we are. Excellent. Michael Yule, dinky do. You're all watching Scotty McClure. And we're live with the pop up. Thursday evening pop up. Nothing gets past me, of course. And so much to discuss tonight. Can you see the subject? Hello, strangers, says Rab Anderson. And uh, John Finlay, dinky do. Hi, Scotty, says our Peter Richardson. Thomas Hamilton, how's your day, pal? Very good, Thomas. How was yours, pal? Uh, hello, young man, says Mark Jones. Hello, Mark Jones. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Thursday evening pop up. They have hammocks outside the front door of the campus. There's Ali Yogi. Excellent Ali. I shall find out more about this. What's the subject tonight, asked Lewis Valls. Lewis, can you see it on the title to the program? We're discussing should the government incentivize not having children to help save the planet. So there you are. Hi there, says Lorraine Quinn. Hello, Lorraine, darling. Two kisses from Scotty McClue. Dinky do with our Thursday evening pop-up. Jeremy Gox watching. Yes, it was good, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. What did you do, Thomas? Spill the beans, I say. Andy McCrory is watching. Dinky do, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. <coughs> now, tonight, I might take a couple of calls on Messenger. So if you'd like to come and join us, then get your message are plugged in if you've got a microphone and give us a call. The world is too evil to bring children into. Eddie Dobby Sr., little bit on the negative side, yes? There is a lot of evil going on, a lot of very misplaced and very lost people, you know? I mean, I've only met one very, very bad man in my whole life. 
So there you are. Uh, every child that comes from this world is a miracle, Scotty, says Michael Paul McVeigh. You're certainly a miracle, Michael Paul McVeigh. I have to concur. So they are. Good evening, Scotty, says Andy Hughes. Excellent. Gary Meeklam, Dinky Doo. Welcome, welcome, I say, and David Mortimer. Now let's get discussing our subject tonight. Should the government consider incentivizing not having children? All right, that's what we're talking about tonight. Andy Hughes parked up in my truck up in Scrabster at Thurzo. So there we are, Thurzo. You can't get much further north than the old Thurzo there. You're not far from John of the Groots, am I not correct? Peace and love, music, my man, says Rab Anderson. Peace and love to you, Rab. Music, my man, big style. Excellent stuff. What else is happening, Dinky Doo? You've just joined Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, Thursday evening. Nothing gets past me, as I say, and we are discussing tonight, should we incentivize not having children to help save the planet? Would you be up for that? Evening all, this is Karen Mercury. Evening, Karen, glad you could join us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClure Show. Henry Anderson's watching Dinky Doo. Hi, Scotty. I think if parents want children, they should have them, says Erica Ma. I know, Erica. I agree with you. But what I'm saying is, if people are willing to be brave and be an exception and not have children, should we incentivize that? Should we say, we'll give you 50,000 if you don't have children? Share about the death of Burt Reynolds. I agree. A fine, fine actor. Uh, good to be here. I'm at work, says Mark Jones. I have six kids and don't regret any of them. A world without kids, says Peter Boy. All right, Scotty, how are you doing, says Jimmy. Dinky do, Jimmy. Here's Derek. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Derek. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, I say, to the Scotty McClure Show. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. One of the huge world events now is watching Scotty McClure in the pop-ups and, of course, the Sunday night show at 9 o'clock sharp. A good few thousand of you joined me last night, and I hope many, many more will come and join us tonight as well as the word gets out. So get sharing, guys. Lots and lots of sharing. What have we got here? Do we get something just pops up on your screen? Well, there we are. What I think I have to do is just refresh that. If people don't want children, adoption is there. Now, but Andy Hughes, if they don't want children, why would they adopt? Do you see what I mean? You know, you're not thinking, Andy. Come on. Smarten up. This is Scotty McClure you're talking to. They get paid for having them. Why should they get paid for not having them? So there you are, says Karen Mercury. Very interesting point, that, Karen, but surely it's something of an incentive. If people are not, a lot of people that have children are doing it for fairly selfish reasons because they want to extend themselves in the world. Mike Henfield's watching. A very warm welcome to Mike. The Vatican wouldn't agree with having less children, says Eddie Doby Sr. No, I know, but the Vatican isn't the be all and end all in the world. The people are. And we actually have to say, this is what we want to do with the world, right? We don't necessarily take all of our direction from our world leaders. You know, they're all right up to a point, I would say. <clears throat> if they don't want children, they should get the snip, says Andy Hughes. Yes, or just control yourself. You don't need to damage your body. But just make sure that you're not doing the biz uh, at the hot times. Uh, so there we go. Lewis Vols, you're heading for a lifetime ban with comments like that. I'll delete the comment and let you off this time. All right. But any more comments like that, you're not responsible enough to be on a Scotty McClue pop-up. And we have to give you a red card. I don't actually have a red card. But I've got a yellow card with red card written on it okay so there you are that's what you'll be getting and uh, lewis shut up you clown says thomas hall absolutely red card says andy hughes good good stuff andy he's just been red carded big time and the next is a lifetime ban when you'll never ever be heard of again on the show 
So there we go. Uh, well done, Thomas Hall. Very sound advice. Uh, Dave Neely Nelson, Dinky Doo, welcome to Scotty McClure's Thursday evening pop up. Lots to discuss tonight. We're discussing should the government incentivize not having children? Should we pay people to not have children to help save the planet? Eddie Adobe Sr., I've had the snip. You'll be getting the snip on here if you don't stop your nonsense. Eddie Doby Sr. Little bit of silence there, brought to you courtesy of the Noise Abatement Society. Our thanks go out to them. Excellent stuff. Liz Lyons watching. Very warm welcome, Liz. Lovely to hear from you and Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. Share and share as much as you can just to let everybody know that Scotty McClue is live so that they don't miss it. So excellent stuff. And Dave Neely Nelson, Dinky Doo, a warm welcome to you. If you've just joined us, welcome, 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 folks. If you're wondering what on earth's happening, then Scotty Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, is live big style on Facebook Live with the world's top talk show just for you. Dinky Doo McClure, says Kevin Byers. Dinky Doo to you, Kevin. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome to the program. Colin Rogers watching. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us, Colin. And Dinky Doo, I say, bit of a shadow going on behind me there. I wonder if we can maybe... Bring that down a bit lighting-wise. So, shared, shared, excellent stuff. Elaine Costello is watching. Welcome, Elaine. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, I've just joined. What's the subject tonight? Now, Tony Mack, have you read the intro that's popped up there? They're forever complaining about lack of funds for this, that, and the next thing. And they're spending it on weapons. Yes, see more. I can't see more or I might lose the broadcast. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, says Dave Nelly Nelson. Hola, says Elaine Costello. Si, Elaine. Hola, si, si. Uh, Scotty, are you getting your own radio show, says Paul G. Curry. There are huge discussions with very senior people in television and in radio about the Scotty McClure show because it's very, very sought after. In other words... I'm one of the hottest media properties on the planet. What about that? Uh, have you got a cold man flu, Scotty? No. Why do you ask? Get Scotty back on the radio. I loved your show, says Jen Carroll. I think this is going to happen, Jen, at some point. It might not be this year. It might be next year. It might not be in this country. It might be in America. Who knows? But there's certainly big discussions. Be like China, Scotty. Have a limit on how many children you can have. Okay, but what's the limit? I mean, I think China does one, doesn't it? You sound a bit bunged up. <coughs> Elaine Costello, I've had a chist for a wee while. So there you are. So I'm just bunged up from the chist. But um, as for bunged up, I'll have a sip of tea and that will unbung me. Oh, that's better. Not bunged up now. Karen Mercury, dinky doo. Good evening, Scotty. You look hot. No, no, nice and cool tonight. Not hot. Just uh, the lighting shows my uh, my face, my coupon, as a wee bit on the blotchy side. But once we get the better lighting in, you'll see a big difference. So there you are. If you want to help, get the lighting. Get yourselves on to Scotty McClure's PayPal. You'll see it on the entrance there. Go on to the website, click PayPal, pop in a fiver or something. Over 20 years ago, Scotty McClure, uh, those were the days, says Thomas Hall. I love your shots, says Scotty. Excellent stuff. It has to go back at midnight, of course, or I turn back into a pumpkin. Uh, what about the people that can't have children but want children? Well, they can adopt, Andy. So there you are. I take your first point. Excellent. When does I sleep? Work out at the gym. Yes, I know. They go to what's called keep fit. They always come back exhausted, don't they? Excellent. A temperature, says Elaine Costello. You've got a temperature, Elaine. Well, just watch yourself, right? Have a wee lie down and sip some water, darling. I'm back, Scotty, says Lewis Voss. Good, Lewis. You're welcome back, but just be careful about your comments. It is not a knocking program, right? 
We're not a knocking shop, as a famous broadcaster once said. So there you are. So you're very welcome back. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet and the one stop broadcaster. So for instance, it looks like I've got a wee scar in my eye. I haven't. There's nothing there at all. Hi, this is Kirsty Smith. Hi, Kirsty. Welcome, 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 I say, to the Scotty McClue Thursday night pop-up. Is it time for a share? Another few minutes, we'll have a share. Are you wearing your PJs, says Kirsty Smith? That's a very personal question. Are you wearing your PJs? So there you are. Sorry, Scotty, says Lewis. No problem, Lewis. You don't need to apologise. Just don't do it again. I personally think to get paid not to have children is a totally stupid idea. Tell us why, David Steele. If you're going to make a statement like that, you must back it up. Derek says he's getting better now. There. Oh, did you work out at the gym or did your missus, Derek? We weren't sure. Dave McCann's watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. This is the big one. My nighty, says Kirsty Smith. Oh, you're in your nighty. Right, well, there we are. Well, that's your business. There we are. Don't give them too much information. Listen, your sharp buttons, Scotty. Let some air in. Flash your hairy chest, says Margaret MacDonald. No, no, no. We're not a strip show, Margaret, for goodness sake. I know I am a massive icon, but, you know, steady, steady. Gavin Amy Vicar, hey, from Dumbarton. Dinky do, we love Dumbarton. I was once asked, you know, they said, can you see Dumbarton Rock? And I watched it for an hour and it never even moved. And um, having children is the most beautiful and greatest thing, but it comes with responsibility. As my great parents taught me, love is a very important thing, says Tony Mac. Dinky do, Scotty McClure on air to the universe. I've abandoned the shave to watch, says Mark Andrews. Quite right, Mark. You can shave any time, but you can't see Scotty McClure any time. You can share any time if you like. Depends on religion about having kids. How does it depend on religion, Tony Butler? What has it got to do with religion? There we are. Uh, Sharice says she was bullied in the show. Sharice, you need to stop making claims like that, darling. So there we are. I'll delete your comment, right? I looked last night and there was nothing controversial at all. So don't be silly. Are you in your bedroom, says Kirsty Smith? Well, that's a very personal question, Kirsty Smith. So there you go. Uh, I'm trying to get a hello in hospital. I want a wee shout out, says Sal Williams. Well, treat this as a wee shout out, Sal Williams, from Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live, big style. There we are. Uh, Sharon Murphy, think you should have as many as you want, as long as you can afford to bring them up? Yes, but should we incentivize... Not having children. That's the question, Sharon. Right? It's all very well to say, oh, have as many as you like. But we're trying to save the planet here. The planet's apparently in a wee bit of a mess. So you have more children. You have more disposable nappies. They all want a wee drink out of more plastic bottles. Right? There's lots more waste going on, etc., etc. So a use of resources. So there we go. The planet is getting a bit thin. The population has been growing for the last few hundred years, shooting up there. So there we are. Who are the pics behind you? Somebody's asking. That's me. Shared, so she is good for you, darling. Thank you. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road, says Elaine, to get to the idiot's house? Why did the turkey cross the road, Elaine? There you go. That's offensive, Sir Sharice. What is? There we are. We'll take that out. Um, Andy, I don't think so. What the pics behind you says, Kirsty Smith. Yes, that's me. Kids have no respect due to parenting issues. Should we therefore stop having children then until we get the parenting sorted out? Matthew Roberts, good evening, sir. Just tuned in. What we're going on about the night. Matthew Roberts, you should see it on your introduction there. I wrote it up in the introduction. What do you think makes a great parent, says Tony Mack? A lot of love. Uh, and uh, don't let the kids off with too much. So there we are. Very, very important. Bring them up to say with rights come responsibilities. With freedom comes responsibility. Kids are not being brought up properly now. It's shocking. 
Knock, knock, says Elaine. Who's there, Elaine? The chicken. Very good. Nick Baldy's watching. A very warm welcome, Nick. You're watching Scotty McLuhan's Thursday evening pop up. What do you call a man with a spade on his head? Says Kirsty Smith. I don't know, Kirsty Smith. What do you call a man with a spade on his head? No, it's a true point, Scotty. Parents let the children do what they want. Yeah, well, they need to stop that, right? I'm not saying we should bring back a punishment. What's your understanding surrounding the subject of Satanism? Says Matty Miles. It is very, very bad, Matty Miles, because it's the work of the devil. Take the D away, you've got evil. So there we go. What have we got there? It would destroy the world as we know it, as in people would stop having kids to get the cash. And how can you save the planet if you don't have a future? Daft idea, Scotty. No. What we're trying to do is cut down on the population. Not a daft idea at all. One well worthy of discussion. It might not suit you, but that doesn't mean it's daft. There's too much of this in social media now. Somebody disagrees, so they start insulting folk. Oh, you're so stupid. Oh, you idiot. All that kind of thing. We don't want all that. We want to discuss it. That's the purpose of the pop-up. Okay, so there you are. you got a mobile. Course I've got. Scotty, I very dare you. Not enough food in the future. Overpopulation, says David Rendell. Absolutely. So I could say that it's a daft idea that you've got. There we are. Take away the phones, says David Rendell. Yes, I think that may be quite good. Although we don't want to punish our children, but we just say no phone. What's your opinion on Brexit? Cancel it in the morning as quick as you can. I don't know if we've run out of time to rescind Article 50. Brexit's a very, very silly idea, and it should be cancelled immediately. Phone up the EU and say, look, sorry about all the mix-up, but, uh, you know, I've got a big set phoning from the UK. would like to cancel it. Go back to status quo. Is that all right with you? And they would say, dinky-doo. So there you are. What do you call a man with a sea cull on top of his head? Cliff. Very, very good. What do you call a lady with sausage, egg, bacon, chips, coffee and fresh bread and rolls on her head? Cafe. Very good. Hello, my good friends. This is Lisa Lucia East. you got more bars, says Kirsty Smith. Of course, Kirsty Smith. Scotty, I very dare you. I've just started watching Univision 2018. Naughty, says Lee Fern. There you are, Lee Fern. You've got to make up your mind. What's the best entertainment? Something on the television, perhaps? Or Scotty McClue Live? I know the one I'd be watching. That's why I'm here. So there you are. I've never, ever, ever, and I've watched a lot of television. I used to work for ITV, and I've never seen anything on the television that will match Scotty McClue's pop-up live. And you know I'm right. So no to barge about that one. I'm not insulting Scotty. No, you're not. Seahorse, says David Clark. Scotty boy, you free tomorrow night, says James Askew. Depends what it is. You wanted me to play football, charity match, something like that. Kids should be banned from all social media, says Sharice. Well, Sharice, how are the next generation going to know how to watch it if the kids weren't around? The rest of us wouldn't be able to work social media. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Uh, which type of mobile have we got, says Kirsty Smith? A cracker, Kirsty, an absolute beauty. How do you punish the kids? According to Scotty, says Tam Hughes. You explain to them. You say, look, you have to learn how to behave. If you're not going to do that, I'm not going to pay for your mobile. It's going to be emergency calls only. No gaming. No Xbox, nothing like that, okay? That's what's happening. Have we got a deal, young person? There we go. Excellent. Life's too short, Scotty. Love my big family and all my children and grandchildren, says Sharon Murphy. Sharon Murphy, who's saying not? But life's going to be a lot shorter for a lot of people if we don't start to save the planet. So think hot, I say. All right, best neighbor. Says Kenny Ogai, I neighbor, then you do. The PC Brigade interfere. Always they do. Sing a song, says Kirsty Smith. 
You start, Kirsty. I can't actually sing a song because we'd then be into copyright issues. Okay. Best new mobile. So there we are. Uh, did you not vote leave, says Danny Connick. I did actually vote leave at the time because they were promising me that the big red bus would bring an extra £350 million a week into the NHS. Now, apparently that's not happening. So I changed my tune pretty quick. Yes, excellent stuff. Alan McLean, so dinky do. You can send them to bed upstairs. Got an Xbox and a cable upstairs, says Derek. Yeah, we don't send them to their bed, all this go-to-your-room stuff. Keep them down with you and keep up the chit-chat. Keep the pressure up. I thought I told you earlier. I explained how that works. Okay, you've got to keep your half of the bargain. Uh, no phone for the kids. I wasn't brought up with a phone. We know that. We know that. So there you go. But you've got one now. Breastfeeding in public, says David Rendell. I'm all for that. Scotty McClue's world famous for starting the Lob Wan Oot campaign. Lob Wan Oot. You should be able to in public. You know, on the bus or anything like that. I think too much of our young people to say that ladies should have to go to a toilet cubicle to feed a wee one. Would you like your lunch in a toilet cubicle? I thought not. So there we are. Uh, I'm not insulting Scott of using the word daft. I'm just saying in my opinion. No, David, absolutely. It's a silly idea. But you, you, if you're just saying it's a silly idea... It sounds to me like you haven't properly thought it through. So there you are. You haven't taken cognizance of the state of the planet. Scotty McClure, live just for you, Facebook Live. Quick Thursday evening pop-up, dinky do to every single one of you. Sing a song live, says Kirsty Smith. I can't, Kirsty Smith. If I did, I mean, I'm a wonderful, wonderful singer. I'm a black belt in karaoke. But if I sang a song... I'd have a copyright issue. So there you are. So you'll just have to take your shoes off and hum. Excellent stuff. Now then, Martin Monaghan, dinky do. I agree with you, but not everyone thinks like us, says Tony Butler. No, not yet, Tony Butler, but we can explain to people and get them thinking like us. So there we are. That's what one does in a democratic world. I was brought up playing rounders in Kirby. So, Peaks Dolls, Truth or Dare. Absolutely, sure it's Kirby. Right, that's it in Kirby. So there we go. Uh, the EU is a big part of bringing up kids so wrong. So there we are, says Nick Baldy. Go on, uh, spill Nick, tell us more. Step up to the plate and uh, spill the beans. Let the cat out the bag. Prams, dolls and marbles, says Sharice. Yes, hopscotch, skipping ropes, peaver, spinning your top, a gird and cleek. So there you are. Excellent stuff. All these things. I think with religion, it encourages a man and woman to be joined together in faithfulness. Marriage, not very well spelt. Brackets, close brackets. Before having children. So it sets our children a great example. I think it's absolutely right. Now, the only thing is, how many people get married before having children now? A lot of them just... You know, I have the children born out of wedlock and live over the brush. So there you are. Scotty, kids know how to work social media better than me. Absolutely. I agree with you. So there you are. Scotty, you cannot cancel Brexit. A vote, vote was held and leave won. No, nobody won. That's the con, right? Uh, can you imagine cancelling a general election and that election being cancelled because somebody wanted to win and they lost. I understand, Lee, where you're coming from, but it was too close to call and a lot of it was based on very poor information. Duff Jen. So the people were conned a bit. And remember, there was quite a lot of xenophobia in the Leave vote. Oh, hey, hey, stop them coming in here. All that kind of stuff. Very, very tiny-minded stuff. So we need to go back and have another think and say, look, politicians... Keep out of this rammy, all right? Let the people, if you're going to have democracy, let the people know. But 
We need to also say, are the people informed enough? Are they also able enough? Are they smart enough to make a sensible vote? Right? So we need to drop all the argy-bargy and all the rest of it coming at us from the politicians and the media and think, hold on, what's best for this country? Because you and I are curators, all right? We're looking after it for the next generation. So think about that, Lee. So when people say in the media, the British public voted leave, the British public did not vote leave. Just over half of them voted leave. And a lot of it on very, very poor information. Okay? So think about that one. So there you are. Uh, excellent stuff. Um, James Askew, Dinky Doo, don't be mentioning other people like that. Night Night Scotty, says Kirsty Smith. Bye, Kirsty. Sleep well, doll, Dinky Doo. Excellent stuff. Karen Mercury, the PC Brigade, interfere too much. You can't do this, you can't do that. Never did us any harm getting a clout round the ear. Well, it depends how hard you got clouted round the ear. It could have made you deaf for life. So there we are. If you'd moved your head the wrong way, it could have killed you. Excellent. EastEnders, don't like it, uh, says somebody. Hi, Kenny, Yogi, 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 Oi, Oi, Oi. Uh, do you watch Corey, says Chris Smith? Watch a bit of Corey. Not going to bananas on it recently. After all, he's a brilliant, brilliant actor. Roy. Superb. Hi, Scotty. Just joined, says David Clark. Sorry. Don't be sorry, David. It's lovely that you're here. Dinky do. You're watching Scotty McClue. Thursday evening pop up. Ian Johnson. I'm afraid society is a huge part to blame. Society tends to mold people. Corporate businesses with latest trends simply care about profits. I would put blame at the parents' door. They're being undermined. So they, I wouldn't, sorry. I wouldn't put blame at the parents' door. They're being undermined. Very interesting. Agree, David Clark. So there we are. And uh, somebody doesn't like a, a soap opera. Fair enough, guys. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that's funny, Scott. One day back to normal after that. Uh, I don't know what that was about. Some of the names they're calling the kids are ridiculous. Napoleon from Mary Hill, stuff like that. So there we are. We shall see. Roy Cropper, why bring East Enders into it? Lob one out, <laughs> says Karen Mercury. Scotty McClure's famous for the Lob one out campaign, so ladies can breastfeed anywhere. Very important. Karen Mercury said he will be ha ha. So James Haskell goes, shut up, Sharice. Oh, a bit harsh, James. Uh, so there we are. No danger, Scotty, says Sharice. Is the earth round or flat? It's round, dear boy. Uh, otherwise, you'd just sail over the edge of it, wouldn't you? James, stop being ignorant, says Sharice. Once the kids find out you can't do anything with them, it's a big problem, says Nick Baldy. Well, no, but you can say to them, you're not going to your pals, you're not going on the phone, blah, blah, blah. So there you go. Uh, did he do? Says Chris Smith. Dinky do, my dear. Never ever get that wrong. Spoils the branding. Oh, I do love you, Scotty, but I disagree with you about Brexit. Brexit, I hope you don't think any less of me. Leaf firm. Of course not. If we all agreed, it would be a very strange world to live in. If everybody just did everything they were told. All that sort of stuff. I don't like people being told. I like them being asked. So there you are. Uh, but uh, the Brexit thing, been quite a lot of narrow-mindedness, wee bit of xenophobia thrown in, egged on by a few right-wing people who stand to make ooh, a few quid out of it. So there you are. Hi, Chris Smith's watching. Thank you, do Hiker. Lovely to have you with us. Matthew Miles, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure. Scotty, would you be willing to be interviewed at some point in the month? Inbox me if so. Request sent, says Matty Miles. There's quite a lot of... If you get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube and you'll see a fabulous interview with two T-double-O, intentionally spelt that way, grumpy critics. 
Two Grumpy Critics. Put that into your YouTube. Scotty McClue, Two Grumpy Critics. And you'll hear the interview. So there you are. Wow. Uh, what's going on here? Sorry, Scotty. Um, pull a funny face, says Kirsty Smith. What do you call this? What do you call this? Really, I've already pulled a funny face. So there we go. Red card. Damn it, Scotty McVickers watching. Dinky do a very warm welcome. A fine, fine man out in Canada there. And of course, of tremendous stock. So there we go. Uh, James, what are you going on about? Chris Marsden's watching. I love Kirby. Should be more. What are you talking about, Sal? So there we are. Sal Williams on saying about something, but we're not quite clear. Uh, yes, Scott, exactly. Bring it back. So there you are. James asks you, slagging, should he stop it? James, stop being silly now, or you'll get red card. In fact, we'll give James a red card. Okay, I know this is a yellow slip, but it's a red card, right? And the end, we had to write it backwards. That's why the end's a bit funny there. Red card, okay. Uh, breastfeeding the kids. Oh, yes, right. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I agree with James, says Lewis Valls. Uh, the vote was only a public opinion vote, says Eddie Doby Sr. Absolutely, Eddie Doby Sr. It was for guidance. It wasn't supposed to be acted on with any great alacrity. Having said that, the obfuscation has been tremendous. We're two years into the Brexit negotiations, and as far as I can make out, nothing's been done. Not a thing, really. Not a dish washed. So we're no nearer actually leaving, although they've set a date. So I think Brexit probably won't happen. Or if it does, it'll be a name only. That sort of thing. Because I think Everyone doesn't actually want it anymore. Do you know what I mean? It's on the old back burner, on the old scrap heap. So there you are. Uh, evening, Scotty. Sad news about Sir Burt Reynolds, says Alistair King. Absolutely, Alistair. A very fine actor and entertainer. Very sorry to hear of his passing. Uh, I tell you what would save the world. Get rid of greed. Get rid of money. Give the people the option to work to better themselves, get rid of classes like the upper class, middle class. Now, David Steele, you've got a wee bit of a chip on your shoulder there because I think the class system is a myth, right? And rather than go, oh, I'm working class and I'll fight for, forget all that, right? Just ignore all that upper classes, middle classes. Scotland does not buy into the class system. We won't have it. So there you are. So uh, stop worrying about that. Get the chips off your shoulder, David. So James asks you, shut it, you mad idiot. James asks you, uh, what I think might happen is that you go. So do be careful. You're on a wee bit of a warning. All right. This is not this kind of show. Shut it, you idiot, and all that stuff. That's not the way we talk to each other on here. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Lewis Valls. Uh, James totally correct. No, Lewis, you're heading for a ban as well. James is not correct. All right. Uh, what have we got here? Kirsty Smith, 29th of March 2019. What are we talking about? Leaving the EU? Hmm. We shall see. So there we are. No one voted for a no deal Brexit. Time for another vote, says Thomas Hall. Good one, Thomas Hall. It wouldn't do any harm to have another vote. But should the people have been allowed to vote in the first place? Do they know enough about the EU? Do they know enough about what's involved in leaving the EU? Do they know what's involved in staying in the EU. Do you see where I'm coming from? Very important. So thank you, Lewis Voss. Yeah, you two can forget teaming up. Red card is a red card, all right. Doesn't matter how pally you are with each other. Scotty, would you be willing to interview in a few weeks' time surrounding the subject of Satanism? Well, I don't have anything to do with Satanism, Matty. It's something I've no time for. I've no time for the devil's work. I've only met one very bad man in my life, somebody who took a lot of money off me and was a very bad person. But apart from that, um, I don't know anything about 
Satanism, really. We don't go in for it. All right. So there you are. I also don't recognize it as a religion. I'll tell you that. Better watch what I'm saying tonight. Copyright and all that, says John Adams. No, you're fine, John. It's just we don't mention products and we don't mention individuals in a negative way. So there we are. James, mind your attitude, pal. I didn't appreciate it. Thanks. So, Sharice, so there we go, Sharice. He's been red carded and may yet disappear. Michael Paul McVeigh. Mog wants the present government out, Scotty. He has the right idea. Well, I was hearing somebody slagging off the Scottish government the other day, and I thought how wrong it was. They were saying the Scottish government are tired. And I thought, if you want to see a tired government, take a look a wee bit further south. So there you are. James Askew, spam the chat with a one. James, I think you should go long. That's terrible. We'll delete your comment this time and we'll monitor you. Okay, Lewis Falls, I'm going to take that out. You're going to go as well. I think I'll delete that comment. Okay, so there we are. I've deleted Lewis's and James's comments because I don't think they're conducive to a good uh, program. All right, so there we are. Scaremongering more likes, says David Clark. Yes, a lot of scaremongering going on, but it doesn't work. You won't scare the Scottish people easily. All right, James, get a grip, says Sharice. Quite right, Sharice. Uh, Diddy Dinky Doo. No, not Diddy Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo. All right, don't mess with the brand. Uh, so there we are. Okay, Kirsty, excellent. Right. I also think the government needs to remember they work for the people because they were voted in by the people. Yes, absolutely. Sometimes you do wonder, David, don't you? Uh, if we have got a full democracy. A general election is based on lies from all parties purely to get votes. Lies purely to get votes. All parties in the same Scotty. A general election can be won purely on one vote. See more. Uh, I don't normally do see more. The Brexit referendum was no different. So there we are. James needs a red card. He's had one, Charisse. Uh, Frankie Pilkey's joined us. Dinky do, Frankie. Lovely to have you with us. Love your stuff. You're a man of great quality and wisdom. So there you are. Uh, Roy Cropper sells McClue's pies, says Paul McCulley. Absolutely. I used to live along the road from Coronation Street. Marvellous. Quite fancy a wee, uh, a wee cameo there. Uh, kidding on, doll, says James. Have to lose weight. Do you think there's an unfair discrimination against overweight people? Now, I think people get concerned, Tony, because they think if you're carrying too much weight, not so good for your health. So there we are. So if you can get the weight off, but not too fast, remember how long it took to get it on there. I, of course... Um, 18 stone of solid muscle, so I don't have a weight problem. Uh, Jacqueline Trotter, uh, Jane's going to stop your crap, so she is, yes. Love you, Scotty, says Kirsty Smith, and you, my darling. Uh, wow, he was 82, yes, we're talking about um, red card, straight red, not even yellow. Don't have a yellow card, although this is yellow. This is a red card. So there we are. Uh, breastfeeding the kids in public. Michael Purcell's joined us. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, who have we got here? Um, eat my... No, Harry Askew, you're going to have to go. Right. Harry's gone. You'll never, ever hear of Harry Askew on the program again. Gone. So there we are. Spoiling the program and uh, bringing the tone down. Excellent stuff. Hello, sir. So there we are. James, you might go as well. Harry's gone. Any referendum is purely advisory in the UK law, but the Tories have decided to act upon it. Yeah, I think they might have to decide to act another way. We'll get rid of James as well. So there we go. Right, James, you're about to have a lifetime ban. We'll delete your comment and we'll delete that comment. There we go. And uh, the next step, lifetime ban. 
Uh, John Adams, just ban him. Yes, go on. Cheers, Scott. Yes, says David Steele. No problem, David. We have to ban the idiots. We don't want to be attracting idiots. Highly intelligent people watch Scotty McClure on Facebook Live. Dinky do. Is your show, Scotty, taking no nonsense? Says Ian Johnson. Absolutely, Ian. You've got it in one. So there we are. Um, Alan Humphreys, Dinky do. A warm welcome. Excellent. Kirby, when two people stand either side and aim a ball at the curb on the other side, trying to get the ball. Oh, I thought Cherise said she was from Kirby. You know, Kirby down in Lancashire, near Liverpool, Kirby. I thought that's what she was. I didn't realise Kirby was a game. We didn't used to play Kirby. Uh, because I remember, do you remember Ring Bang Scoosh? People used to knock the door and run away. And another time it was called Knock Door Run. And I spoke to a lady from Ayrshire, and she said it was called Chappy Knocky. Now, I thought Chappy Knocky was a place in Ayrshire. Do you see what I'm saying? So, Kirby, excellent stuff. So, there we go. Doesn't matter how Scotland votes. We just get told what to do. This is Eddie Doby Sr. Pro tempore, I say to you, Eddie Doby Sr. There's a little bit of Latin for you. Great to see you back in the internet airwaves again, says Gary McCord, Scotty. Thank you, do, Gary McCord. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. Can we have a share, please? I'm just going to share here. Who have I got here? Somebody's popped up for a chit-chat. Excellent stuff. You know, oh, there it is there. I was just wondering where the wee arrow for my mouse is. Sorry, I'm just on a wee kick round the corner here. Uh, do a dance, says Christy Smith. No, you do a dance, my dear. Let's see you do a dance. I'm not a performing monkey, you know. Very, very serious broadcast journalist. Excellent stuff. Information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for every nation live here. I do apologize, not at all. There we are. The devil wants an interview, big man, says Paul McCarley. Right, we'll have enough. We'll see the devil. We'll drive him out. John Steen says hi, says Gary Cameron. Dinky do, John. Uh, so there we are. Danny Connick, what's your favorite school you've worked in? Oh, many, many schools and colleges and universities. There we are. Tremendous stuff. Uh, so who have we got? Kieran, dinky do, kick the can, Scotty. Yes. Do you remember Kick the Can? Excellent stuff. So there we are. Poor old Harry Askew. He's just about to be banned. I think there should be, oh, he is banned. Sorry. I think there should be a second referendum vote, says Tony Mac, because we were lied to by politicians. Well, I don't know if you can say lied to. I think perhaps we could point the finger at one or two who shall be nameless, who misconstrued the truth. So there we are. They were a little bit lax with the truth. They're a little bit um, tight on clarity. Uh, we're lied to by the politicians and the reasons for it. There's a 52% vote, 48% for, 48% against. Not a clear majority. What do you think? I agree. I don't think they should have acted on something that was so close. I didn't mention products, says John. No, you didn't. So there we are. Kieran Fox the thought of an interesting idea, 50% of everything sold from a lifetime of living to homeless people. The other 50 goes to sustaining the charity and some work. My mum's, and there's more there. Uh, James is the superior. Ask you, Harry, says Daddy. Do you like me, Scotty, says Christy Smith. Christy Smith, I don't know you, so, but you seem to be very pleasant on the show. Charles McLachlan's watching. Michael Purcell, give me a wave. I'll give you a wave, Kirsty. That's not a problem, but I'm not going to do a dance because you've ordered one. Uh, so there we go. What have we got here? Tired government, nothing, Scotty. The land of the brave. Excellent stuff. White dog poo. What happened to Scotty? Well, Matthew Roberts, the reason you don't see the white dog poo that we saw when we were younger is because people don't go to the butchers and give the dog a butcher's bone. And a lot of the calcium from the bone tissue whitened the poo for the dog. Got your hands full on this show, my man, says Tony Butler. I have, Tony. It is a very, very busy show. And, of course, the Scotty McClure show is extremely popular 
worldwide. So there you are, worldwide, my dear friends. A global show. Kiss, cuddle, or torture, yes, do you remember that? A pull of the pink tails or a Chinese button? It's up to you. They took out my sugar and my hand. Bruce is David Clark. Yes, I'm just looking after your your um, sugar intake. Come, Alice, is what happened to the person who stole your money, if you don't mind me asking? Well, they've kind of disappeared, so there we are. I would have no truck with anybody like that, so I'm afraid uh, they're out of my life as far as I'm concerned. One bad person in a whole lifetime. Not uh, not too bad, actually, there you are, but it took a lot of work to... Um, to right the wrong. There we go. Governments are public servants and should listen to the people that pay their wages, says Alistair King. Yes, but politics is also the art of the possible. Do you think Scotty McClure should become a politician at some point? Matching bonnet and shot looking good, so Scotty, says Richard Eyre. Dinky do, Richard Eyre. Thank you, thank you, I see. Shamsur Raymond Katak is watching. Lovely to have you with us, Shamsur. Come and join us. Hello, sir, says Joseph Gibbons. There's no need for that type of behaviour, says Joseph. You're quite right, Joseph. We've sorted them out, and they have gone. Donna Roberts McLeod, dinky-doo, for goodness sake. Haven't they got school tomorrow, says Ian Johnston? Uh, you like me, diddy do? No, dinky-doo, Kirsty, you'd have to say. You need to get that right. Joseph Gibbons, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Has James got a lifetime ban? Yes, Lewis. James has got a lifetime ban because he couldn't behave himself. So there you are. So don't you go down the same road, my boy. Uh, she from the Highlands, says David Clark. Yes, she might be from the Highlands. How are you doing, Scotty? Oh, dear. Liverpool, Lancashire. Elaine Costello, thanks very much. I thought you were a scouser. Love the bones of you, darling. Great. So there we are. I used to live in Kirby, says Joseph Gibbons. Absolutely. A lot of people did. Chap door and run away. Thomas Pedden, shout out for Jane Pedden, who's fed up. We will soon unfed up her because she's watching the Scotty McClue show. Thursday night pop up, nothing gets past me. Brilliant chat. Lovely to have had you all with us. So there we go. And uh, Morton's going down, says Danny Corrick. No, no, up the ton, I say. I do apologise, Scotty, about my differences of opinion to you when it comes to Brexit. Never apologise, you don't need to leave. I'm still a huge fan of yours, even though we disagree. Love you, Scotty. Listen, no problem, Lee. If you can't disagree with Scotty McClue, what can you do, I say? Uh... Skip the garden and hide and seek were better than Chappy. Chappy, knocky. I thought that was a place. Where's he free? He's free. He's doing a, doing a bit Chappy, knocky. Yes. Now, I think the whole story of European exit is needing a comprehensive overhaul. We require a UK wide school of what's happening. Richard here, you're quite right. We do indeed. People need to step up to the plate. They need to front up and fess up and say, what is what? Now then, kick the can. Yes, you're going to watch the Ryder Cups as Kirsty. Kiss, cuddle, or torture. Truth or dare. We used to get sent to the butchers for a bone for the dog. There's sod on the floor. Pigs hanging up. There are pigs hanging up. There are cows hanging up. We used to lean on the Margaret and have a chat. The butchers gave him a commute. Wiping the blood down the front of his apron and said, What can I get you, son? You say, Can I get a bone for the dog a bone for the dog, son? And a bone for soup a bone for soup, son. No bother. For your mother as well. About there, son, and he would take the action. Whack over with the meat cleaver right now. And then he would wrap it up in brown paper and give it to you. There was none of all this scoosh in the top with one of these, uh, you know, decongestants or whatever you call it. So there we are. The butchers are amazing. Bulldog run, good game. Yes, British Bulldogs, remember that. Evening, Scotty, says Dino Shea. Evening, evening. Replying to Kirsty Smith, Jane thinks she's as best as in the living room. So there we are. Um, right to take a firm stance in the Egypt, Scotty. You've to, tried to bring some entertainment, yet simply they're too foolish to understand. Keep it going, says Ian Johnson. I will do, Ian. Scotty, you're right. It was unfair of me to say. 
All politicians were liars. No, they're not, but they can misconstrue the truth. Thank you for correcting me. Uh, thank you, Scotty. You're the man. This is why I look forward to your shows. Scotty, you're missed. You're calling. Referee of the year. Absolutely. On there. Oh, hold it. There you go. Go on. Off you go. Uh, so then, off. Go on. Off you go. There we go. Red carded. Scotty for BBC Radio 1. I was wondering about BBC Radio 2, The Breakfast. Potted Hawks, says Eddie Dovey Senior. Yes, the potted did. Very nice. Put in a wee bit toast. Uh, sorry about the misspelling on my post. I hate this predictive text thing in the mobile. Not at all, Tony. No problem. You don't need to apologise. Scotty McClue, a future first minister of Scotland, says Richard Eyre. Would you like that, Richard? Good night, pal. See you tomorrow, says Thomas Hamilton. Good night, Thomas. Thank you very much for joining us. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. Me and my pregnant girlfriend are watching. It's her due date today, says Thomas Peden. Hang on there, Thomas. There we go. Uh, and a ham shank for the soup. Absolutely. Or oh, the smoked beef. Very, very nice. There you are. Um, Darren Christie Dinky Do. Shout out for a pregnant Erin, says Thomas Peden. Erin, we send you strength, my dear. On Radio 2, never mind, we need you on TV, says Lee Fan. I think one of the big television companies will wise up and go for the Scotty McClure show on a Friday night between 11 and 11.30. Scotty, you should have a TV show, something in the lines of Jeremy Kyle's show, says David Randall. Well, Jeremy took over from me in Manchester, Century 105, about 18 years ago. It's 20 years ago this week since we launched Century 105 in Manchester, one of the world's great radio stations. Plus the next referee for the England match. <whistles> there you go. Predictive text is a load of shot, Silly Costello. Uh, the world needs fear, and that's you, says Richard here. Let's get you on TV, says Thomas Biden. More than half an hour, man. You'd be a hit in TV, Scotty, for Hugh. Sure, I agree with you. The audience would be Massive. Massive. We demand it, says Thomas Bean. Imagine this on uh, ITV or the BBC, Friday night, 11 till 11.30. Ladies and gentlemen, the Scotty McClue Show. And off we go. Rab Hill's watching, did you do? Turn your predictive text off then, says John Adams. Chris Evans has left the building. Scotty, get your feet in the door. I don't think he's left yet, but uh, apparently he is going from the building. Michael Paul McVeigh, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us, I say. Now, guys, we're running out of time. I'm going to have to push off in a few minutes. So there we are. Oi, oi, Scotty, Dinky Do, says Scott Biddy, Margaret MacDonald. That's not long enough. Half an hour. Well, we've been nearly an hour tonight, Margaret, with a pop-up. So I hope you've all enjoyed it. Hello, sweetheart. How's tricks? This is Reb. Thank you, Reb. Very nice. A very informal greeting. Uh, so Elaine Costello, who's Chris Evans? So there you go. He is a DJ, and um, you can uh, you can look him up. I'm sure there'll be bits on the internet for you, Elaine Costello. But you know who Scotty McClue is, and that's what matters. What do you do in the daytime? Since Thomas Beaton, very very busy. I talk to a lot of very very important people during the day, and at night I talk to a lot of. Very important people. Scott is the main man, says Don Curry. Bonsoir, Scotty, says Elaine. Mrs. Brown's on for an hour. Get Scotty McClure on. I remember you on Hallam FM, Scotty, at night. Just go from radio to TV. Everyone would love you. Thank you so much, Lee. In an independent Scotland, McClure is a red carpet god, says Richard Eyre. Very kind of you, my dears. Right, before any of you change your mind, uh, I shall dash, get on, bid it up. Bid up TV, Scotty, says John Adams. Brilliant, John. Thank you very much. I shall have to dash, guys. It's been an absolute privilege being with you tonight. What a fabulous show. A great little Thursday pop-up just for you, dinky-doo. And make sure you carry on sharing this video big style. Drop bottom, says Elaine Costello. Absolutely, Elaine. Good night. Nick Bolly, good night, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you, Karen Mercury. 
Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of which our same. Au revoir and a cheery all. Night, says Margaret MacDonald. Night, angels. Sleep well. Many blessings. Till the next time we all speak again, this is Scotty McClure saying to every single one of you, Dinky-doo.